morning so today's video i actually it's not morning i'm lying it's like 12 but today's video is going to be let me scoot over a little bit i'm not in the middle today's video is going to be a little bit different i'm just going to get ready and i have no products out yet so i'm just going to go get those in a minute and i'm just going to show you guys my makeup that i normally do when i'm going to like london for meetings when i'm just going out for dinner because i know my youtube is like full of crazy i'm in the middle still full of crazy and like wacky makeup looks that you wouldn't normally do unless it's like an occasion, a night out um, and just like playtime, like I love playing around makeup pretty much every single makeup look that I do, as soon as I'm done I just take it off and go to bed <laughs> it's not necessarily the products that I normally go to because I am going to try out a couple of new things um, but it's basically like the colours, shades, the amount you understand me? <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to walk you guys through that because I get a lot of questions and um, you see me all the time looking like this on Snapchat so I thought I might as well just film it. So I'm going to go grab the products and I will be right back. <laughs> so like forever and always, I'm just taking my Soft Oak Paint Pot by MAC and I'm going to pop this on top of my eyelids. I've been listening to um, Ed Sheeran's new song this morning and I really like it. I freaking love Ed Sheeran. Honestly, like, he could come out and sound like a cat being strangled and I'm pretty sure I'd still sing along to it. You guys will know by now, because this will be up, I'm going to be editing this on the plane. So, I'm currently, not now, but, okay, let's wear that again. So, when you're watching this video, I will be in LA. I'm going with NYX Cosmetics with Rachel Leary and I am so excited I mean like it's one New York reunion for me and Rach I'm just gonna use my sponge to just blend this in a little bit more I know it's not damp and it's really dirty don't judge but we're going with um, Georgie from NYX and she's such a sweetheart I'm so excited we're gonna have so much fun the itinerary that she's done for us is like insane and as well oh yeah just so I tell you quickly I'm just gonna take fresh by Anastasia Beverly Hills oh I nearly dropped all my eyeshadows then I honestly, my life flashed before my eyes then. <laughs> it was like a big palette like this and I honestly just nearly dropped that everywhere. Woo! If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you'd have seen I dropped my favourite blusher. You know, the Too Faced um, Baby Love blush? <laughs> R.I.P. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just going to pop fresh all over my eyelids and basically set my primer in place. So all I'm doing now is taking Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to pop this in my crease. And I'm using my 228 crease brush from Zoeva. I always like to use circular motions to blend this in. You honestly don't need to do much of the work. The brush just does it for you. As long as you keep it into the crease and do circular motions, you'll be good to go. And then blend it around that corner on the outer C area. So then next I'm going to go in with Cocoa Bear which is from Makeup Geek. It's a really nice kind of like a burnt brown shade. I'm going to use the same brush and just buff it in just on the outer corner. Honestly though this look takes me about 20 minutes to do in the morning. I can do it really, really quickly. And which normally, like, when I do my makeup looks, I can take at least two hours to do. And I know some people will be like, what? But honestly, I'm such a perfectionist. Everything has to be perfect. Apart from my brows, because they always go wrong. <laughs> Honestly, cleaning your mirror is life changing. So I think my eyes are kind of dying slowly. So I need to get them tested. I know I need them. And I've always wanted glasses, so I'm happy. I just always thought like eye makeup looks so much better when you've got glasses on. So then I'm taking my little fluffy brush and I'm taking Fudge by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I will need to get another one of these when I'm in America. And I'm just going to blend this on the outer corner of my eye, like the outer C portion. Come to mama. Yeah, it's a bit better, isn't it? So 
So I go like up from the eyelash and then curve it around. I can't believe it's Saturday already. This week, honestly, this this month is going so fast. So quickly, it's like the seventh of January already. Like, what? Is it the seventh or the sixth today? I think it's the seventh. I'm just gonna go with the seventh. So that is just like pretty much all of it for the top eyeshadow. I don't do loads and loads. Also, if you're wondering, the best like makeup spray for me for getting off like um, gel liner from your brushes is the Makeup Brush Cleaner. It's an antibacterial sanitizer for natural and synthetic brushes and it's from the Pro Hygiene Collection. It honestly like saved my life freelancing. I've repurchased this about five times my career but it will last you ages as a makeup artist it lasted me about oh I want to say like five to six months and I used it after every single client so highly recommend this makeup spray you don't need a lot like I literally go this far away I squirt on the little cotton pad or tissue whatever you've got and then I just do these it's all come off and I've got a perfectly clean brush now the winged eyeliner brush amazing talking of winged eyeliner um, I'm taking my Sigma wicked liner this is the gel one and I just scrape out quite a bit and then I kind of place it on the back of my hand and I tend to do quite like a long wing but not like really really thick So then once I've got the outlines, I like to go in with a felt tip liner. I like the Maybelline Master Precise Liner and I love the um, Tarte Tartist liner. And it's got like a coal on one side and then a felt tip liner, but I just prefer the felt tip. I do need to purchase another one of these actually. And then I'm just basically going to fill the rest of it in. I have to like hold my breath whilst I'm doing this, so I apologise for not speaking or moving. So the next step I like to do is prime. Now I am just a little bit extra. I like using two primers. So I pop on my Laura Geller Tinted Spackle Primer um, all over my face. It kind of is like a moisturiser as well, but I do moisturise. I've moisturised already this morning. Um, and then I go in with the Professional Primer from Benefit, and I just pop this in all the areas that I need to fill in pores. So pretty much on my cheeks and my nose and my forehead. And then sometimes like around my nose, because I've got like eczema there that flares up mostly in the winter it kind of clears up in the summer but um i've got like dry patches and a little bit more texture around my nose so i do like to pop it there as well so the first primer i just like to rub on my hands and pop it on i'm always scared that i'm gonna like wipe my winged eyeliner when i do that no it's still on i can't really see and then just my professional primer i like to rub between my fingers And then just pat that in. My skin's really red at the moment because um, I think I've told you guys before, but I'm on Maractane at the moment because I suffer from well, I did suffer from acne, and then it started to come back a couple of uh, like a month and a half ago, and I went back and they were like, okay, we'll just put you back on it. So I am gonna do another video about that, and I promise I will do it this month as soon as I'm back from LA. I will film it for you. Um, I'm just praying that this round of Maractane works. So for foundation, I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Sand. Now I honestly, if I'm being honest with you, I really didn't like this foundation. Probably like four months ago I tried it. I, did I, I can't remember if I bought it in America, I can't remember. But I tried it, didn't like it. Um, I actually really, really like it now. Like I've used it a couple of times last week and... Yeah, I just, I'm just i obsessed with it. That's a really full coverage foundation. Um, it's not drying on my skin. I think I didn't like it because it was a little bit too thick. And I do I do like a full coverage foundation, but I like it thin, which Giorgio Armani does that for me. But I actually am really loving this foundation. 
So I always start from the bottom and then work my way up. And it's a really good colour, like colour match for me. If I was to really fake tan though, I'd need to go darker. So yesterday I went to London, so I've been up to London twice this week. One, to kind of sort out my hair, so I went for a cut and then I had my hair dyed. I went to Vixen and Blush um, and it was through Sarah Ashcroft and Anne from Benefit that told me about um, Vixen and Blush. So I went there and they were so sweet, they didn't need to use bleach on my hair, they literally just put a cleanse on it so it just took all the dark brown out of it that was put on top of my bleach and they just put a couple of warm tones through it. Um, so they fitted my clipping extensions for me, they've done like long ones for LA for me but we are going to go and do a, a shorter one as well when I see them in a couple of months time. Um, for a touch up on colour and stuff but yeah if you're looking for hair extensions I would definitely go there they custom like blend them and I'm just popping on my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium and I'm going to pop this underneath my eyes and my cupid bow and then I'll put a little bit on my forehead and now I'm taking it down the bridge of my nose Oh, by the way, something really exciting. I got um, a message from one of my friends on Facebook um, saying, oh my God, your face is in boots. And so if you're in the UK or anywhere that um, sells sleek makeup, so like Boots and Superdrug, that has a sleek makeup stand, look out for my, my mug <laughs> on their contouring kit. So I did a photo shoot with Sleek not long ago. I think it was back in October. And um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be taking my Benefit um, Cream Gel Brow Colour in number 4. So it's actually, it comes in a pot that lifts up like this. And then you get a brush that pops out and sticks in like this. But I'm going to be naughty and I'm actually going to use my brow brush. This one's really tiny though. So this would be perfect for like, you know, um, like brow hairs. Doing that with this kind of brush would be better than using one of these. So today for powder, and I'm actually gonna bake today, um, I'm just gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder. First of all, I always like to dry off the concealer, so by using a brush and patting this in, and then I'll go in and bake. If I bake straight away, it, always, it just feels too heavy and it just like sticks, and you get this massive layer of powder stuck to your face, so I prefer doing it this way. I really fancy going for dinner, but we've got this restaurant near us called Cal, like C-A-U, and let me tell you, it does, I mean like, I'm a gourmet burger type of person, type of gal, <laughs> but let me tell you, the burgers in Cal are freaking awesome. And then I'm just going to bake around my nose by taking this Morphe M459 brush, and I'm just going to place this, we'll create two lines down the side of my nose. So I'm just going to do my lower lash line before I pop on some mascara and falsies and I'm going to be taking um, Sienna from Anastasia Beverly Hills if it will focus. Yay. Again it's very similar to Coco Bear from Makeup Geek but it's a little bit more, let me compare. Well they are very similar, it's a tiny little bit browner. And I'm just going to use this all over my lower lash line, I really really love this shade. This eyeshadow makes every single eye colour just pop. I am obsessed. I remember when I was I put this on like um, clients and stuff and everyone would always love this shade on their lower lash line. You guys are going to love my pyjamas. I am still in my pyjamas. I know and it's, it's probably 1pm now but I got these. You'll never guess. I got these from Peacocks. Bargain. They got makeup on. They're my favourite. They're absolute favourite. Then for mascara. Oh, actually, let me curl my lashes. Let me curl the stubby ass ends of my lashes. So my favourite lash colour at the moment is the Tarte one. This video is going to be so long, I'm so sorry. Okay, 
mascara. I'm taking my Maybelline Falsies Push Up Angel Mascaras. It is mascaras, mascara. It is my fave. It makes my eyelashes look super long, volumized, and separated. And you guys know I have no lashes. So if you hear me say that, you know it's a good one. So to bronze up my skin, I honestly used to use this on every single client of mine. It's the Studio Fix Powder in NC42 because I watched Dress Your Face say that she does it. So I went and did it. I'm just taking that on my 101 Lux Face Focus Brush to buff this into where I would contour. It's basically like to lay something down before we go and contour. Just gives a little bit of warmth. It's always nice. <laughs> I've got all these baby hairs that are growing. They're growing out though, they're really long now. Really long. They used to be really, really short, but now they're really long. On to my contour, and I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I'm taking the middle shade, which is this one here. Taking that on my 105 highlight brush from Zoeva. I always, it's, I call it Zoeva. A lot of people say Zoeva, but there's no A, so that's E. I don't know. It's probably me that's wrong because I pronounce everything wrong. You guys know that. <laughs> then I'm just gonna dust away the bacon. I'm just going to spray my face with Fix Plus because I don't like how powdery it looks after baking. Now I know these are expensive but I honestly just use them all the time. It's the Lily Lashes in the style Miami. I've honestly, I'm not even kidding when I say I've probably used them about 30 times already. And they're still going strong. So it is worth the money. I'm taking my duo lash glue. I always love the clear one. I've tried the black one, but I can be a bit, uh, what's the word? Not so careful when I'm doing lashes. And I tend to get the black glue all over my eyeshadow and then it just ruins that. So I'd rather just do the clear one and then go over it with an eyeliner if I need to. So I just, once the glue's on my eyelashes, I literally place them over there on the side to start doing something else. So for my highlighter today, I'm gonna to be taking the Tarte Exposed highlighter. It is one of my faves. Where's my blush? Gonna do my nose highlight. So I like to do like an exclamation mark, a little circle at the end. Pop it on my cheekbones. for my blusher the labels come off so i don't know which one this is from mac but it's just like a mac one <laughs> it's like a pinky peachy color if i saw the name i would remember but it's like gone i don't like loads of blush Now, I always like putting a mole here. I do have one, like, I'm not even lying. Will it focus? Obviously it's under foundation, but it's normally darker than that. And I always just like to go over it because I just like to, okay? A lot of people are like, looks like you've got dirt on your face, but I don't care. I do not care. So before the trolls come tiptoeing up in the comments section, I don't care. Right. Sticking on the lashes. To finish off this look, it's just my lips whilst the glue's drying. Oh, I'm just going to have to use Strip Down for lip liner. I'm just going to use, I love Strip Down All Well from MAC. I always use it. And you guys know I love an ombre, so I'm just going to fill in the outer corners of my lips. Once that's ombre I take a little bit of concealer. I literally just get whatever concealer I have to hand. As long as it's quite a light one, I rub it in between my fingers and then I dab it in the middle of my lips. And then I go in with lip gloss. At the moment I'm loving the pure lip gloss. It's actually a lip oil and it's called a Gave lip oil. I 
Alright guys, that's it for this talk through, like get ready with me. I hope you have enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave comments down below so I can read them all. I read absolutely every single comment because I get emails of every single comment <laughs> and I have to read them. And remember before you leave, please click the red button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I don't want you to miss out on any more cool makeup tutorials. So until next time, I'll see you soon.